The entire site of the Springs Preserve is 180 acres. We developed about 30 acres in landscape around the buildings for the public use. For the Springs Preserve to be a sustainable place, it wasn't so much that the buildings were platinum, Lee Platinum, which they are, seven of them are. For us, sustainability includes all of that, but also has things about the people, the culture, the attitude, operations. Everybody was at the table talking at the beginning to look at a whole thing. Not the traditional, there's a design, then there's a mechanical system, then there's a structural system. We had a team that was dealing with ecology, restoration, interpretation exhibits. They were all there together. It was really gratifying to bring all these people around the table and brainstorm sustainable principles where mechanical designers started with, what do we design a building with no mechanical systems? And it created a really dynamic synergy to philosophically push this into a building that performed at a high level. There was a 22-acre flood detention basin that in the master planning process, everybody said, gee, why not use this as a potential for demonstration of what a native spring and wetlands would look like? Let's make it a demonstration facility. The parking lots are covered with, uh, I believe it's 2,200 solar panels that develop about 409 kilowatts of electricity. And that's about two thirds of what it takes to run these facilities. And the Desert Living Center shows these pieces and parts all working together as an integrated system where landscape is fused with building architecture, which is fused with mechanical systems and then daylighting. In the desert, there's a lot of light available all the time. Um, you know, there's a lot of heat available all the time. So really, the shading and the building form really was informed by that specific location, climate, and orientation. So it was aggressively, passively designed. That led to the need for a daylit building that really didn't have much electric lighting load. We've cut our water consumption by about 65%. It still is a botanical garden, so we do use some water, but we also reclaim all of our wastewater. And then we run that water back into the buildings to flush toilets. So we have no sewage that leaves this site. There's five buildings in the Desert Living Center. All of them use cool towers. One of them has no mechanical systems at all. These are working laboratories where you can see which ones perform better at what times of the year and teach our greater community and other architects the abilities of what can be done with sustainable design now. The integrated design process was taken to another level on this project for us. When we brought all these different components, civil engineers, mechanical engineers, electrical lighting engineers, daylighting experts, and I cannot imagine doing a building anymore without doing that.